हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन इट्स मी राज फ्रॉम मणिपाल कॉलेज ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज पोखरा टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पैथोलॉजी प्रैक्टिकल्स फॉर द काठमंडू यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम एज वेल एज द सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स ऑफ द एफिलिएटेड कॉलेजेस एंड ऑल्सो वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंट वाइवा क्वेश्चन दैट कुड बी आस्ट इन द प्रैक्टिकल्स एज वेल दैट इज द टेबल वाइवा एज वेल एज इन द थ्योरी वाइवा ओके सो लेट्स लेट्स हैव अ क्विक लुक एट द मार्क्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट इज द पैथोलॉजी प्रैक्टिकल इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ एटी मार्क्स इन टोटल विच इज डिवाइडेड इन टू स्पोर्टर्स ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव मार्क्स दैट्स अूज मार्क्स हेयर स्पोर्टर ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव मार्क्स प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ फिफ्टीन मार्क्स सेल्फ viva of 10 marks and record file consisting of 10 marks so 45 plus 15 60 70 and 80 marks okay so look at here 15 questions would be asked in this porters and each question will consist of 3 marks okay so that is the 45 marks practical would be there will be two practicals one will be about the differential leukocyte count the next will be a choose choose between uh blood grouping and the hemoglobin estimation okay and the viva and the record file is there Okay, let's talk about the spotter thing. Spotter is very important, and you can't afford to miss any kind of spotter. Okay, always try to attempt and make every spotter correct. So study every spotter that has been taught there. And first things first, always mention the diagnosis. Or what is there? Okay, for example, if it is a uh, meningioma, then always mention about meningioma in the top, and then write about the uh, tail questions later on. Okay, uh, and one thing is that one instrument would be asked out of the four, fifteen questions. That could be hemoglobin pipette, WBC pipette, RBC pipette, right? Western green tube on the stand. Uh, Winthrop tube could be there. Newbert chamber could be there. So have a look at these instruments as well. Okay. So these are some of the um, pathological, sorry, microscopic and uh, slide sections. We have also uh, wrote down the answers for you guys, so it's easier for you. So have a look at all of these slides here. Also at the specimen present in our uh, PDF. Okay. That is about the spotter thing, and study every spotter there is. Now let's talk about the differential leukocyte count. It's a short, short question. Ah, uh, there will be two, ah, uh, two st, ah, uh, smears will be given for you. One for the staining purpose and one for the DLC. Already stained slide for the DLC. Okay. Ah, uh, now you have to know the standard values for yourself, and ah, uh, report it as give. Ah, uh, the format would be given there. You will just have to report it. Okay. Now talking about the viva questions. After you report it to your teacher. Uh, your teacher will ask what uh, what have you focused on under the microscope and depending on what you have focused maybe a neutrophil or lymphocyte or eosinophil you have to explain uh, why is it a neutrophil like why why are you saying that it is a neutrophil then you have to say uh, ma'am it's a neutrophil because uh, i can appreciate the size i can appreciate the nucleus is there it is a trilobed nucleus or bilobed nucleus okay uh, it is a very si sand like fine particles is there and red brown in color you can say okay uh, that's all Now next next thing is that you need to know about the uh, cases. Okay, ma'am will ask or the teacher will ask you about. Uh, explain me about what is neutrophilia, what is neutropenia. Okay, you have to know about the cases as well. Two to three examples of those things. Okay, similar lymphocytosis, lymphocytopenia, eosinophilia. These cases you need to know. Okay, I prepared a list for you. See that these are the causes of neutrophilia. Okay, pneumonia, acute appendicitis, acute cholecystitis. It's kind of things. Okay, and neutropenia is there. Lymphocytosis, eosinophilia. Go through all the all of these things before your exam okay make a screenshot of this piece right uh, now next co important question is that what is the characteristics of a ideal blood smear okay similarly why is the slide kept for 2 minutes initially what is the why is the why is it kept for 2 minutes initially it's for the fixation right so it's a fixation time Similarly, why does not the stain in the first two minute of powering the slide? Because it's just for the fixation of the stain, and the stain cannot enter inside the stain cannot enter inside the into stain inside the slide, right? Why? Because it will need water. Water has the high dielectric constant, right? So that it ionizes easily. So buffered water or distilled water is required. Okay, now you need to also know about the principle and the composition of the Lisman stain. Okay, uh, Ronowski's stain, the Lisman stain. You need to know the composition and the principle. Now, next, next important question is that is there any other way to fix the blood smear if the Lisman stain is absent? Then we can say yes, we can fix it by using methyl alcohol. Methyl alcohol, right? 
similarly why acetone free alcohol is used it could be asked okay so uh, acetone free alcohol is used because acetone can wash away the nuclear staining right so if acetone is used there then it could wash away the nuclear staining also it can cause the shrinkage in lysis of the cells so acetone should be absent from the alcohol okay or methyl alcohol okay uh, the next practical is your blood grouping okay blood grouping so you'll have to perform the blood grouping experiment and also explain the principle of the blood grouping as well as the land stainer law okay now the most important question from the blood grouping if you have the blood grouping uh, experiment on your side then the most common question is what are the common blood grouping systems okay they are abo blood grouping rs blood grouping mns blood grouping kale blood grouping duffy blood, blood grouping lewis blood grouping p1 pk blood grouping okay and now similarly what are the uses of blood grouping could be asked see uses of blood grouping are blood transfusion in pregnancy for rs incompatibility test okay medical legal cases paternity disputes okay similarly you could be asked about what is rs incompatibility incompatibility okay prepare about these things as well similarly uh, what are the direct and indirect cross match that is about the measure and the minor cross matching right what happens in major cross matching donors rbc is taken and patient serum is taken right and in the minor cross matching patients rbc is taken and the donor serum is taken okay don't confuse between these things okay for major always dr donors rbc is taken okay now see uh okay um in the minor cross why is it minor cross matching called the minor cross matching could be asked why is it called minor because the donor serum is used here donor serum and donor serum serum when introduced into the uh, body of the patient then the serum is there right so it will get easily diluted in the patient's body okay so it's called the minor cross matching important one is the major cross matching and let's further look at the questions uh, and the next thing is that what are the hemolytic diseases of the new one could be asked okay so hemolytic jaundice chronic terrors hydrospitalis erythroblastosis fetalis could be asked okay similarly signs and symptoms of transfusional reaction could be asked okay so uh, one thing we have to remember is uh, the first and the most important sign is first sign is severe back pain okay your patient will complain of severe back pain and severe chest pain okay and severe chest pain okay Okay, similarly, flushing and fever would be there, shortness of breath would be there, dissemin disseminated intravascular coagulation would be there, acute renal failure would be there, burning sensation in of the injection site would be there. Similarly, the patient will com uh, complicate towards the shock. Okay, similarly, uh, these are the allergic reaction could be there, anaphylactic reaction could be there, circulatory overload could be there, graft versus host disease could be also be there. Similarly, next question is what are the screening tests before the blood transfusion? Okay. Uh, so what are the screening tests this will also work for your physiology practical okay for physiology also these are the same question because experiments are also the same experiment right okay what are the screening test for blood transfusion see blood test could be done parasitic test examination like malarial examination for the malarial parasite could be done in the blood smear right similarly sbs ag hepatitis a antigen surface antigen could be asked similarly anti-hiv test could be done anti-hcb test syphilis test can also be screening test can be done before blood transfusion okay now these are the criteria for donor selection okay age is 18 to 66 male for male uh, what i mean here is uh, male can donate in every three months female can donate in every six months similarly female should not be pregnant or uh, sorry menstruating uh, while she is donating the blood right the hemoglobin liver must be greater than 12.5 gram per dl the weight should be greater than 50 gram kg okay similarly no transmission disease no chronic disease okay the next question that could be asked is what are the blood parasite present in the blood okay that is malaria could be there that is the malarial parasite could be there filariasis could be there leishmaniasis leishmania could be there like trypanosoma could be there and babesiosis could be there as well okay this was about the blood grouping now let's come to your third experiment that could be there in the choose option that is the hemoglobinometry okay in hemoglobinometry what you'll have to uh, look forward is uh, the normal values of the hemoglobin for women uh, men and children the principle of the hemoglobin hemoglobin test okay and the next is other methods to estimate the hemoglobin levels what are the other methods to est estimate the hemoglobin level what is the best method what is the best method sign hemo sign 
meth hemoglobin method is the best method okay what is the accurate method gasometric method is the accurate method okay gasometric method is the accurate method what is the why is the hemoglobin in higher in male and lesser in the female okay what are the drawbacks of soil is hemoglobinometer similarly can we use one and normal one normal hcl instead of n by 10 can we use it no we cannot use it because it will cause the destruction of the proteins okay because the hemoglobin is consist of the tertiary structure uh, sorry quaternary structure of protein it will destroy it right similarly can we use 1 by 10 normal hcl for dilution then we can say yes we can use it for dilution but it is not used because it is uh, not economical to use 1 by 10 hcl it is expensive right and also one thing is that it cannot be used if the person is severely anemic as well okay now uh, the next thing is what is anemia it could be asked right and the classification of anemia it is generally of the uh, second semester uh, what is anemia would be asked okay and i have a look at these things okay estimation of hemoglobin by uh, no word all the uh, other methods like colorimetric methods may include solid hemo uh, hemoglobinometer test uh, sign meth hemoglobin oxy hemoglobin method gasometric method chemical specific gravity method right okay the principle of solid so so acidic method is very important right apparatus the procedure you need to know and the disadvantages what are the disadvantages color matching is subjective right uh, all the forms of hemoglobin is not converted like carboxy and meth hemoglobin right color of the extra martin is unstable and fades quickly similarly the comparator it could be used for years and years and the color could be fade okay so it's a subjective in nature okay now let's move towards the viva questions so important viva questions may include uh, questions from inflammation right about the acute inflammation could be asked okay acute inflammation it does not get a miss okay actually every every student is uh, has to say about the acute inflammation actually uh, the next question could be uh, wound healing and the factors affecting the wound healing okay wound healing and factors affecting wound healing similarly thrombosis you need to prepare well for thrombosis thrombosis one of the uh, frequently repeated question uh, in pathology viva okay similarly about the shock as well shock is also very important and pathogenesis of the septic shock is very very important okay septic shock similarly know all the process process that occurs in a cell injury okay cell injury is very important similarly mechanism of apoptosis is also very important and necrosis in this type it must be known by every student there is okay especially fibrinoid necrosis which occurs in blood vessels okay next is no what amyloidosis as well okay amyloidosis as well now neoplasia is the most important question because it is also always repeated with every student there is okay neoplasia uh, the question the important question is what is the difference between benign and malignant tumors okay benign b and i benign and malignant tumors okay difference between benign and malignant tumors similarly what are the meta what is metastasis what are the roots of metastasis could be asked similarly what are the hallmarks of cancer could be asked okay there are eight hallmarks uh, know about all of them because it is the favorite question of your sudeep sir okay okay because he asked me this question in first semester okay now know about the causes of neoplasia also causes of cancer also okay you need, you need you will have to classify the causes of cancer physical causes genetic causes microbiological causes right chemical causes okay similarly from the paper two uh, classify bone tumor is the most important question okay most important classify the bone tumors similarly you need to know about the osteosarcoma as well and malignant melanoma osteoclastoma this is very important malignant melanoma is again very important okay know about the abcd of malignant melanoma osteoclastoma is also very important we will have to explain about the morphology that is the gross and the microscopy of osteoclastoma okay and the radiology as well of both of them similarly squamous cell carcinoma is also very important now osteomyelitis is a sure short question okay it's a sure short question osteomyelitis so study well about osteomyelitis okay similar even sarcoma is also important and rheumatoid arthritis also very very important okay let's have a quick recap so these are all the things spotters first of all do all the spotters finish it uh, before uh, finish it beforehand okay uh, the next thing is differential leukocyte count know about everything about uh, dlc at least three examples of everything that is mentioned here and the principal and composition is a must must to be known next is the blood grouping lot of questions could be asked from the blood grouping itself which is also important for the physiology viva 
for your physiology viva as well okay don't miss the common blood grouping systems okay and the symptoms of uh, transfusion reactions in the screening test as well and next is the hemoglobinometry or Sahli's acid hematin uh, method uh, know about the principle the normal values uh, why is hemoglobin level higher in male why is it lesser in female okay okay this is your homework for you find it okay it has to do with the sex hormones okay okay now uh, can we use one and normal instead okay these are the questions the common questions uh, and next is about the viva i have told already those things that are important in the viva itself so if you are new to our channel then please subscribe to our channel so that we can upload more videos for you thank you